everybody, this is Cherie. Today we're going to be talking about the e-bags mother load. This is one of the original one bag travel bags. Um, some people still use it. I honestly haven't used this bag in several years because I've found other ones that I like better, but I'm still going to go over it because there, there are a lot of really nice features. It weighs a little bit more than some of the other ones. It weighs about four pounds, which is not very much in the grand scheme of things, but it does weigh a little bit more. It is well made, has a lot of good features. Um, so this one opens up like a suitcase, um, much like the Alpha, but it's divided, the division's a little different. This has a thin pocket here that you can put things in, usually it's like dirty clothes and things like that. And then the main pocket actually has a shelf that snaps in and out. So you can stand it up. This gives you a place to divide. It almost functions like a packing Okay. Um, it also has some retention straps to hold things in place. There's this little pouch here that snaps out. It's hard to use, but it snaps in and out. Trust me on that one. Um, and then the, where this one really shines, I think, is the, the exterior pockets. So when you look at it, unlike some of the other ones, this one has a ton of exterior pocket space. So you've got this main pocket here that opens up. It's huge. You've got a lot of space to put jackets and things like that. It also has this, device, this um, organizational section where you can put phones, cords, things like that. You've got several different places, uh, so hopefully you won't lose things into your bag. Um, this pouch, so this one is about that deep, and this one is much deeper. It's about this deep. Um, so you've got these pouches all along here. On the front, you also have a little slash pocket here where you can put your passport or your wallet, your earbuds, things like that. There's a little pocket here that has a little water bottle holder that pops out. Um, depends on how big your water bottle is or whether or not it's gonna hold it, but that pop pops out. There's also a place to put your business card with your name so you can tag this with your name. It's kinda nice. There's additionally another pouch up top, and this has the, the shoulder strap in it. But this is a pouch where you can put, for example, your toiletry bags, which you can move through security quickly and uh, easily to you pull your toiletries out. So there's a lot of exterior pocket space in this bag, which is nice. There's also a laptop sleeve, which is right here. It's really big, so if you carry a large laptop, this is one of the largest laptop sleeves there is. My bag, I mean, my laptop top pretty much disappears into it. If I were using this, I would probably use an additional neoprene sleeve over my laptop just to make sure that um, it didn't bounce around in there. However, there is a way to catch your laptop with this little nylon catch that fits down in here. It doesn't work for all laptops, though, so I would say if, if you're going to be carrying a laptop with this, you may want a neoprene sleeve. Okay, so this, that's the laptop sleeve. There's a ton of space in this bag. If space is important to you, then this may be the bag for you. Um, additionally, the bag has a bellows feature that even opens up to give you more space. So you can expand the space. Now, obviously, this is going to make it harder to fit in the tight spaces, but if you go somewhere and you come home with souvenirs, this may be one that gives you about an extra inch of depth. Okay, so we've looked at all the pieces, pieces of the bag. I'm going to zip that bellows back up and see what we can fit in here. And then we'll see, maybe if we can even fit more under the bellows zipped. So in this bag, I'm going to use the shelf feature. I'm going to put pants on the bottom to start off with. So again, I've got the Halle, Prana Halle pants. Let's see how many pairs I can fit in there. That's one, two, three, four. They stopped making these. Uh, this year, now they make the Halle 2s. I don't like them nearly as much, so I bought a bunch of them because these have to last me the rest of my life. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Five pair of pants in that bottom section easily. Let's put some shirts in the top section. Just the shirt that I'm wearing. It's a long sleeve black t-shirt. One, two, three, four. Yes, I have a uniform. Five. Six, seven. I got those seven in there without any problem. I can even tuck an eighth one in there on the side and still have room for pajamas. And we can get some socks in there. Okay, so I've got all that in there without any trouble at all, That's without opening the expansion. And then I'm going to go around to the front here. And in this 
space, I'm going to put my shoes and my jackets, both of them, for my jacket, for my winter packing system. I've got those in there. I'm going to put my toiletries here. And I'll just stick my makeup bag in there as well. I have my laptop that's going to go in back here. And I'm going to use the little sling to hold it in place. Now I have put all that in the bag. There's still plenty of room to put more things. And you can tell here, you can see that this bag is not completely stuffed full. So there's a ton of space in this bag. Um, I'll go ahead and stick my fleece in here as well, just to show you that I can get more in there. So my fleece is here. And this bag will still take more. And I haven't even unzipped the bellows. If I unzip the expansion, I can give the bag about another inch. Okay, so that's, this bag will take just about anything you throw at it. Um, if you are not a light one backpacker, this might be a bag for you. Now, I didn't have the backpack straps pulled out yet because I wanted to show you so they zip up. So you can check this bag if you want. You can make the straps go away. Um, or you can carry it like a backpack. So these straps come out and they snap into place. There's a little hook here that snaps into place for each of them. And one other feature that this bag has, if you want to try to make it a little bit smaller, if you're not using everything, you can actually pull these straps together on the side and cinch it down. I've got it pretty full right now, so that's not going to work very well, but I'll show you how. So you pull that, cinch it, and it makes the bag as small as it can be. It kind of draws in that excess material. So this is, again, I've put pretty much everything I've got here into this bag, and it's still holding it. It would take a lot more if I needed to. It's got the water bottle pocket if I need it that pops out on the side. And you've also got other straps to hang things off of if you need little places to put clips and things like that. So this is bag, it is a little bigger than some of the other bags. It carries a little bit bigger, um, so, but it's well designed. It's got a nice suspension, so it doesn't feel particularly heavy. And it does take, you know, I, it's quite comfortable on my back. This is what it looks like from the sides. And again, this bag has taken everything that I've put into it and still has room for more. So if you're looking for a one bag, travel bag that carries just about everything you, want, you can get into it, this might be the one for you.